morning, I'm Steve O'Hare and this morning I'm bringing you the technical analysis that we're looking at on the WTI crude oil. I'll also take a look at uh, Brent oil as well, uh, which trades at the moment it trades uh, at premium of around about $4 uh, compared to WTI crude oil. So uh, I'll start with the higher time frame, the weekly chart, and then uh, drill down to the lower time frame charts. Uh, we go back historically, and uh, as we all remember, towards uh, this early last year, March time, we saw this um, over the weekend. We saw this gap down in the charts when uh, uh, COVID really hit home and uh, prices became very pressured. Uh, and this culminated in a uh, dip down in April. Uh, to a real oversupply and a lack of storage resulting in negative prices on the spot um, front. Um, we hit a $10 low on this um, the, on the future side of things. And uh, but since then that that um, based out um, the um, the actual low of the cycle and we pushed higher and, and eventually filled this gap. This gap, the gap is um, we can see in this the highlighted pink color here. Uh, and after we uh, filled this gap, we saw some sideways price action and it was uh, the start of November when we started to see prices pick up again with uh, an increase in demand, uh, oil output cuts taking place and uh, pressure really to the upside uh, currently. Uh, OPEC plus meeting this week, um, Saudi Arabia agreed to cut its oil production by th uh, a million barrels a day. Uh, this has been taken up by Russia. Um, and so overall, uh, a net small uh, cut, um, but this is a, had a p positive price action on the on the market. So that's the weekly chart. Let's drill down to more of a daily chart. And we saw this slight reversal on uh, the first day, first trading day of the year, the fourth of Jan. Uh, but this was, uh, as you, as you can see, uh, as a result of the OPEC Plus meeting. Uh, with the all output cut, we've reacted higher and pushed around to fifty dollars. Uh, that's a significant um, psychological level. Uh, now, if we look at the more technical levels in the in the price action, we can see that we have uh, a seventy eight point six Fibonacci retracement, which is common retracement uh, target when we have these pullbacks. Um, if we go to the monthly chart, I can give a bit more of an overview of what we expect to see as this AB equals CD correction takes place. Uh, the levels we're really targeting, the measured move target uh, is up towards $68, but the real resistance levels that we expect are around about $63, which is a 38.2% retracement of the overall uh, sell-off. And also this swing high from uh, the, the high of last year, 6th of January, comes in at $65. Also, if we, if we go back to April 2019, we had a high of $66.53. Uh, so they're all sort of key levels to look at um, and target as resistance before we expect any uh, real sort of like sellers to come in to uh, go against this move upwards. Um, breaking it down to an hourly chart, we uh, we can see a, a bullish flag forming uh, this morning. This is a, a morning video that we look to produce a trade idea. This was uh, what I picked out this morning, uh, getting along at 49.80, the stop at 49.40 and the target of 51. This is just a uh, common risk reward parameter that I like to use, a three to one risk reward. Uh, that's what I'm looking for, but I'm looking for a, really a break of this uh, flag formation. Uh, if we do have a measured move from this flag formation, we could see that a, uh, a true break of it would give a measured move of uh, somewhere in the region of $52. But I'm only looking for $51 uh, today over the next uh, 24 hours. Um, if we want to look at uh, Brent crude, again, a similar sort of price action. We can go back to the, the monthly chart. Uh, sorry, the weekly chart, and we can see that, that, that we had the big um, gap in the chart, a uh, low of $45, a high of $40, so we had a $5 gap, and again, that was filled, and price action has uh, is looking to really uh, correct in this AB equals CD correction, and that targets a move up towards the $63, $64 area. Um, if we are looking for resistance levels in this uh, in the oil markets, really, I'd be looking at uh, the potential resistance 
coming in around about $57 on the Brent oil. Uh, this is a downward trend in resistance. This is only two points formed. We're, we, we need a third point to be a completed trend line. This is only a potential trend line. Um, so $57 would line up with some confluence uh, resistance areas that we've seen historically, which is uh, really uh, 58.44. We can see that the swing high, a reaction uh, level here, and support level and resistance level here. So uh, plenty of uh, decent levels to look at, but at the moment we're seeing oil prices move to the upside and expect that to continue. Uh, thanks very much for joining me and look forward to speaking to you again soon.